Hello, this is Heather Turner, and this is Hopefully Helpful, EdTech Tips to Help You. Make your life easier? Tips and tricks that worked for me, and I hope they work for you. Let's get organized in Google Classroom. Okay, so let's try to see if we can get some organization in this Google Classroom. So the first thing that I do is I can take the tiles and I can move them wherever I want them to be. The order that you've created your classrooms is not the order that they need to be in. So I can click and drag any of the tiles to go where I would like them to go. The other thing that I can do is if there are any classrooms that I'm no longer using, I can go to I can click on the three dots and I can archive that class. Please note that if you archive a class and the other teachers are still using it, it archives it for everyone. So um, don't do that unless, if you have a co-teacher unless you've let them know that you're going to do that. So the other thing that I can do for organization is that when I'm in a class, and so I'm going to go into my 8th grade class, I can make sure that I have organized my classwork page. So, my, so it just depends on how your classroom is going to work. But truthfully, the more items that you have under each topic, the more confused that it becomes. So um, for during this time of emergency school, I like to call it, I have organized my items by date or the week. So the items that need to be completed during that week. I find that this is really helpful um, for students and organization. There's a lot of different ways you could do it. You could do it by topic, but I find that date seems to work um, the best. Um, and then I also, if there are kind of links that students might need throughout the class, I create a resource library topic and I put in any links that they might need. Um, so that is really helpful for students. Um, I really suggest that you think very thoughtfully about utilizing the stream as a way for students to click on information because it's kind of like the news feed in any social media website. Things get easily lost in there. So really the first item on that um, stream is going to be the thing that the student looks at. And so I make sure that that is go to the classwork page, all assignments are posted on the classwork tab. So I just make sure that that's the first message always. And to do that, the three dots will actually let you move any um, message to the top. So that is really helpful um, for organization. Another thing that I do is that when assignments are done, whereas if you'll notice, um, it's 429, so these assignments are done, so I can actually change the name of it, um, the name of the topic, and I'm going to do that. I'm going to rename it, and I'm going to rename it done, or I could also do completed. And I rename it, and now it's called completed, and the students will know that that is past due. So it's kind of like a, a way for me to communicate with the kids without having to send them yet another email. Um, and so that is, is really helpful. Another thing in the stream that I do is that I turn off any notifications that aren't announcements that I do in the stream. And I do that by going to the gear and I click on cl classwork on the stream and I hide notifications. And so that's just notifications like Ms. Turner has posted this assignment. Those are the types of um, notifications that I'm talking about. Um, and so that is really, really helpful. So those are a couple of things that you might want to do that are going to help you be better organized in your Google Classroom.